This is Mary. So one of the concerns was, you know, how is your breathing? Is your breathing different? What could be causing um, shoulder and neck pain? And as far as the actual mechanics of your breathing, I didn't see a difference on how you're turning to breathe. You look like you have pretty good head position. Your head's not bobbing up and down. I mean, slightly, but that's normal. And you're not over-rotating. Over-rotating to breathe could cause issues, but you don't appear to be over-rotating. Uh, one of the things I we talked about was that you could try to look up just before you breathe. That might help with uh, making it a smaller motion. And then the sort of final choice would be just, you know, don't breathe to the left after 1,500 to 2,000 yards. Your body position is good. Your uh, stroke extension is pretty good. It could be a little better. Uh, we'll look at that when we get to underwater. And your kick is fine. So mechanically, for the most part, uh, everything's in pretty good shape. So from a swimming technique standpoint, you know what you, what you can see here is that when you're extending forward, you're sort of extending down, and you probably could get a little more extension out of your lat. So you want to stretch that lat out quite a bit when you uh, when you reach forward. And here, what I mainly look at is, are your hips and legs staying in alignment or staying uh, in the same line that your upper body is taking through the water? And they are, so you're very streamlined. Your recovery looks pretty good with your left arm. You see how sometimes your left hand is a little higher than your elbow as you come, come back around to the front? Um, that could put a bit of extra strain on your shoulder, but it's real minor. So that one was faster paced, this one is normal effort or, you know, moderate effort. So your stroke looks really relaxed and good, so this looks, this looks fine to me. The, again, swimming technique wise, the area I think you can improve is uh, the extension or reaching forward as well as possible with each stroke and then mechanically getting the, the high elbow catch. So what you can see here is that when you're reaching forward, you're extending down quite a bit. When you do that, you tend to lose out on some water that you could otherwise grab or leverage through. And then your, your actual stroke technique is more of a straight arm pull and then an internal rotation so that your hand and forearm go under your body, especially with that, with that left. So, the little differences like that could be adding up, excuse me, with that right arm, you're pulling more under your body. So the high elbow catch or the early vertical forearm is where you, you reach forward and then you sort of rotate your shoulder internally and then the elbow goes over the hand so that your hand and forearm are vertical relative to the bottom of the pool and that creates uh, great leverage using your lat as a, the muscle that will pull you through the water. So there you can see the difference on your right, in your right arm pull, how your right arm is pulling more under your body. It's not necessarily bad. Uh, typically when you do that, you're going to wind up using your bicep a little more as opposed to your lat. Now here you're reaching forward, so we talked about that. That looks smoother to me. That looks like you're going to get more, more distance or more water per stroke. Now this is something that 
you would want to time yourself swimming this way and then time yourself time yourself swimming uh, the other way or with a shorter stroke and see given that they're at the same effort level see which one is faster if one is faster uh, then you know that's your winner now if one is easier and a little slower then it depends on how you can uh, what you can do to pick it up you can pull harder things like that so reaching forward here as well Trail. And this was trying to do more of a, a catch-up drill, so really uh, exaggerating the reach forward. It's a nice long stroke, so if you can do that in combination with a high elbow catch or early vertical forearm and, and you know, pretty good effort on the pull, you're going to swim fast for sure. Elbow. And this is one arm drill. With one arm drill, you really want to focus on the, the high elbow catch. Good. So that's pretty good. You can see sometimes how your your elbow, oh, that one was good as well. So sometimes your elbow is still leading the stroke back though. And what I mean by that is that your, uh, your elbow is coming through the water ahead of your hand and forearm, if that makes sense. You want your, with a really good a high elbow catch, you want your hand and forearm to angle straight down towards the bottom of the pool, and then they pull through the water uh, almost vertically entirely, so that your, your elbow is completely over your arm, or your your hand. So this is a good drill to work on that form. All right, and then some uh, freeze frames from underwater. So right arm. Entering, extending, and then you start pulling. So you sort of extend it downward a bit, and then you can see how the the arm is one angle there when viewed from the side. So it's a straight arm pull, and then you get the internal rotation of your uh, hand and forearm under your body there. And so some internal rotation is normal as you you know extend your other arm. I guess what I'm trying to say though is that you can try and pull a little wider or keep that hand a little farther outside your body. Then left arm, see that's extending pretty deep. And then that's also a straight arm pull at the start. And then a bit of the hand and forearm rotating under there. And then the last two uh, are just so you can see uh, what your pull looks like from the front. So left arm, that's a good straight pullback. Right arm, that's a little too far under your body.